becoming a lesbian parent can be really quite a challenge. And socially and culturally, we don't really have a story available for how lesbians become parents. It's a very sort of uncharted territory, if you like. Lesbian couples have to ask themselves questions like, how do we do it? Um, how can we access donor sperm? Do we go to a clinic? Or do we do it ourselves with maybe a friend or someone who's willing to do it for us? And it used to be that lesbian couples didn't have access to clinical treatment in the UK which meant that there is a long history in amongst the lesbian community of self-arranging donor conception, and so using a friend and doing it at home. In recent years, Linux have become much more available for lesbian couples. However, it's very, very expensive to go to a clinic for sperm donation in the UK. So that means that actually the informing routes are still very common, and loads of people choose to use a friend or um, someone maybe off the internet. Both the clinical routes and the self-arranged conception route actually raises an awful lot of questions to do with who is the donor, how do we choose a donor, do we want him to be a, an involved father in the family, do we want him to be known but not very much involved, do we want him to be someone that the child can find out information about when it's older, when he or she is older, or are we quite happy for the donor to be completely anonymous? and never for the child never to know about him. For couples who conceive in a self-arranged conception arrangement, they also have to manage the fact that they're actually going to be very intimate or have a sort of very intimate exchange with someone that they probably don't know in that sort of context. And managing that kind of intimacy and actually receiving the donation at home can be very difficult. Donor conception also, though, raises questions around family and who is seen as a family. And these mothers and donors are going to have to think quite hard about who is family in this context, whether the donor is involved as a family, is he seen as family at all. Uh, for a family with two mothers there's also a challenge that this is quite an unusual setup and they have to deal with the fact that their family may or may not be recognised in, in public as a family. And li not least, they also have to think about the legal consequences of using donor conception and the fact that the legal framework in which this works in the UK is incredibly complicated to work through and depending on what choices they make about going to a clinic or not, that is going to have legal consequences. To sum up, I think it, it, lesbian couples can do with a lot more support um, in terms of, of working out how they can achieve pregnancy and how they can become parents. And not least, I think, working out what the, legal, what the legal ramifications are of whichever route they choose and how they choose to involve or not to involve the donor in their families.